another beautiful evening on Fahamu Kiongozi every Thursday where we get to give you different stories of different leaders in the country and even outside the country. And today, on this beautiful day, I'll be speaking to one wonderful leader and a council, senior council in this country who has practiced over two decades, close to three decades, he will be giving us the story on how it has been, the journey has been, some of the challenges, why he decided to be where he is today. And of course, any other leader you'd like me to speak to, it's 222047 and our social media handles. My name is Elizabeth Mutuku. Welcome so much and thank you so much for giving me an opportunity to hear your story today. Why were you born and how was life like? I was born in Western Kenya, uh, in a village called Masienze. Uh, Masienze village is at the foot of uh, Kimgini Hills, mm -hmm. in Idaho location in Kakamega yes. uh, area. Mm -hmm. ha, within a family of how many people and how was life like? Um, my mother and uh, father, uh, first my father was a school teacher and uh, my mother was a housewife. And uh, um, they got 11 children. Uh, during those days, um, there were certain diseases that were very prevalent. Malaria, whooping cough. And uh, uh, the family lost quite a number of children. Yeah, the first child in my family, his name was uh, Japheth. He died. The second one was called Ruben. He died. Um, the third one was uh, Thomas, and uh, he died recently. And uh, the fourth one was uh, called Major. He died. And uh, I was the fifth one in the family. Now, um, the village in which I was brought up was a Quaker village, was a Christian village yes. and uh, um, the people who are living in the village were mainly Christians or, or Christians of uh, friends church and uh, I had the advantages um, of being brought up in a, a disciplined community which uh, respected Christian values mm 